Hey, it's Mitatsu over here. So, it seems that we already hit 500 subscribers. And like I promised to you guys, I'm going to make a tutorial how I make my montages. Alright, then, well, let's start with that. So first what you, what you want to do is get a clip, cinematic clip, um, so mine is right over here, you can just see like my camera is, uh, you can see, you can see that uh, my camera is just like just slightly moving back backwards, and I'm probably going to add like the text like over here or something like that. Uh, so what you want to do is get the clip and then uh, right click on it, and then go to track and stabilize and click on track camera. And now I have already done it, but just pretty much just uh, you have to wait until it's done analyzing, and then uh, you, if it's done analyzing, then you should have these markers over here. So now you just have to um, select the markers you wanna uh, where you wanna put um, put the text on. So usually what I do is just drag it and uh, take a whole bunch of them over here. So it's like maybe like, let's take this area over here, and now it's just. I right click on it and then cr uh, create solid and camera and then you have um, a solid over here which is 3d of course and then what you want to do now is create the new uh, solid called I don't know like elements also you need to have a a plugin called elements which I think it costs but you can easily crack it them you just have to find a tutorial how to do it so anyways, get uh, element, and then also make another one called Saber. So now, quick text, uh, let's say, I'm probably going to name it Heartbreaks, because it's the, it's the name of the song, what I'm going to use on this montage. So just um, align it, and again, if you don't have this Align tab over here, just simply go to Window, and click on align and then you should uh, get that over here so now I have my text over here now you just wanna drag it down over here and then right, right click on the saber and then go to effect and then video copilot co and then saber and then you'll have your saber thingy on your solid then go to your element uh, solid and then effect video copilot and element alright now when you're done with that uh, just what I usually do is just um, start making the saber text, so let's say I want to use electric maybe. Uh, for the custom is core, so now just click on the text layer and then click on your text layer. Actually I want to use arc reactor, which is also a pretty cool effect, but I just have to make it a bit... I have to decrease the glow because it's too, too bright. So now when I have the text, I guess I know I just get rid of the saber, saber text over here. Um, and then go to element, custom layers, text and masks, and then select your, uh, your text layer. Then go, uh, go to custom texture maps and then choose again your, uh, I mean, then choose your, um, uh, your clip, you'll see uh, in a second why. Then what I usually like to do is just click on P on drag solid and then could group one, a particle look and then particle replicator and then copy these positions and then paste them over there. So you will pretty much just see your text immediately when you're done with the scene setup over here. So let me just save it real quick. Alright, now go to scene setup and now click on texture. Now you should see your text over here. So Go to environment and click on the here. Um, I'm gonna leave it uh, like that right now. Okay, now just uh, click on this um, this arrow over here. And then click on the bell, bell, and then click on click on over here. And then you can just choose the color you want to use. I want to use red. Why not? So copy that. And then make the in uh, reflectivity intensity to 100 so now if you want to you add a shadow to your text then you simply want to click on the, uh, uh, the text over here and then drag it a bit up upwards over here so uh, now if uh, now if you create the plane mo model 
and then drag it like, like that and then maybe drag it a bit like that and then you have to add a matte shadow so if you don't know how to make matte shadow you simply just uh, uh, click, click on the, um, the arrow again next to the plane model and then go over here you should have like um you should have a bevel over here I think so now what you want to do is just um, drag right uh, right down here and then click on matte shadow and then it will automatically just make a matte shadow for you so now you're pretty much done with the text so you can just go OK now you see your text over here you can get, get rid of the solid over here so now it's a bit too small so put the particle size and make it like I don't know 30 maybe maybe a bit more like 40 that should be enough and then you can just start adding the effects to your text like shadows and some blending mode and all that's good stuff okay so now um, you always see that my I add like some rotation to my um, to my text over here and it's actually pretty easy to make actually so what you want to do is just uh, click on the multi object arrow over here enable it and then uh, stop watch this thing over here uh, rotation random and then go to the start of the, start of the clip and make it like 70 or something and then you should have a rotation to your text like that it's pretty easy to make uh, so now just press U um, so now I think the text, um, text position is pretty good so now I can add some effects to it um, no, let's go now to render settings ambient occlusion enable the AO uh, select and make it like ultra or you, make, you, make it, you, you can make it uh, high as well if you want to but I just like to use ultra and by the way it, it will make a shadow shadow effect to the text so let's make it like I don't know 24 maybe and then this uh, range is like 5 and sometimes you can't see the um, shadow below your text because your text might be too high so now uh, we can get go back over here and add lightning and then usually what, what I like to use is like traumatic or cinema yeah, cinema looks good enough so let's make it 100 uh, now I'll go go to output and then go to sampling and make this a uh, smoothing like five maybe so it would just like smooth the edges over here. It would just look kinda cool. A bit better as well. Okay, so now then just um save it and now you now you have a pretty cool uh, text over here. So now what you wanna do is like go maybe two frames ahead and go back to saber text. So now what you wanna do is go here and then make the start offset to 100 keyframe it and go go ahead 20 frames you can just hold shift and the page down you can hold shift and then press page down twice and then it will it will just go ahead uh, 20 20 frames so two, 20 frames uh, and then just make it zero uh, if you want to um, if you want your saber text that uh, just change colors you can just uh, give from the co glow color and then go like to the end of the clip and then maybe like make it to this color maybe maybe it's a bit too bright let's go maybe to purple maybe that's good that's good enough I guess and then you can just go to render settings uh, and make it make it transparent and then uh, you can see your text over here go back over here I mean over here um, and then here's now the thing uh, how you add your saber text to your uh, 3d text so what you want to do is click on this 3d layer over here and then uh, click, on, click on P to bring up the position also uh, you might need to open up the size and rotation if you have messed with the rotation uh, on on your um, element but I haven't so yeah I don't have to do anything over here so 
just copy these um, the position settings again. So paste it over here. Take this one too, and then take this one as well. So yeah, I have to make it uh, like maybe 400, maybe. There we go. And then if if you want to if you want to be precise with your um, positioning uh, your zip text, then you can also open up a and make it like 30% so you can like line up the edges of the text. And maybe like I have to make it a bit better, like one four and five maybe. I think it's good enough. And then drag it up a bit more. Right now you can see uh, the edges. Clearly, so now just mess with the position settings. So, bit up and then uh, bit to the left, and now it should be lined up. Let me see. Nope, it's, uh, it's too small, maybe like 400 and oh, maybe. This should be maybe enough. Let me just go over here and then turn a bit to the right. Okay, maybe that's enough. Hopefully. Yeah, that's enough. So now we can just uh, bring back up the opacity. Actually, let's go back to the third actually. Uh, and uh, you might want to keyframe the position and scale because if your clip is just moving around and then uh, it might mess up with your mess your uh, text up a bit so you just have to kind of manually just um, uh, just position the text again you see like uh, now my text is a bit too big for my text over here so may let's make it like I don't know 408 maybe from three this should be enough maybe a bit to the right maybe there we go, now it shouldn't be really that noticeable. So now you should have your text over here. So that's how you make your um, 3D zipper text. Um, and then I have uh, three more over here, so I'm gonna just quickly um, finish them and then go, go to the montage your clip editing. So I'll be right back. Alright, then I'm back finally. <laughs> it took me longer than I thought, but. Um, I have my cinema clips right over here. Uh, I ended up using only three of them because this one over here was kind of corrupted. So I couldn't really use that. So yeah, but it's okay. I can just delete that. I have my three, three cinema over here. This one, this one, this one over here. So let me just um, drag more right over here. I have marked the beat marks over here too. And then this should be easier to edit. So I, I want my clips to um, start from here. So. Hmm. Let's make it over here, maybe. For uh, why not? And then go over here. Then uh, I'll probably I'm pressing Control Alt and T to open up the time remap. Um, if you were wondering, so let's go back over here. Cut that. Mm. Then take the four over here. Drag some over here, and then drag it over here, I guess. Like that. All right then. Uh, let's just save that. And, okay then. So now what I usually do is just um, uh, select all of them, and then press F9, then go to this little graph, and then. Usually I just used to just drag them up like that and drag it down like that, but now I think that it's not, it's not that smooth, so I'm just gonna drag it down kind of diagonal, I guess. That just makes them a bit smoother, in my opinion. So, drag it like that and drag it a bit like that. So make sure it's um, just mm, flat over here, I guess. Uh, then do the same thing over here again. Drag it a bit over here and this one over here. And let's make it Let's make sure it's not down over here. There should be enough. Okay then. So now we have our uh, cinematics ready. Hold up. This one's a bit too too forward here. Yeah. Check it here. Check it. Yeah, it's good enough. All right then. 
make sure to add motion blur to them so it will just make uh, it will make them uh, look a bit more smoother or, or you can add RSMB if you want to but it's all up to you so now uh, let's, let's, let's take one clip over here I think that should be a uh, good clip over here so I want to use that scope effect because this beat has a nice start to it so I want to use that I usually just like to mute my clip over here so I can just add sound effects myself it will just make the clip a bit more I'll just make it more cleaner I guess in my opinion I'm on, uh, so let me see where does it go. Ah, okay um, that's good enough so let's go over here try it here and then we can just drag it a bit over here Adjust it a bit. There we go. Um, so now, what I like to do is um, go up to over here and then cut it out. Go over here too and cut it out. And here, then, if I have to add a circle mask, so ellipse tool, and then just hold shift to make a perfect circle. And it doesn't. It doesn't have to. It doesn't have to be the same size with the scope. You, you can just make it a bit smaller. So okay. So now we have the scope over here. So let's make a basic uh, scope effect over here. So let's, let's go over here. Uh, so let's go uh, the, uh, at the end of the clip and then do that at the keyframe. Then go over here maybe and then let's make the scale like 50 maybe 45 maybe that's good enough make the rotation to 110 yep there we go now f mind that uh, and then what we want to do is just um, track this one over here track it all the way over here track this one all the way over here too and then track this one over here and same thing too uh, with that, just make sure you, your craft is, uh, looks like that, like mine. Or you can um, motion blur it as well. What I like to do is take this one over here, go 10 frames back, uh, scale, and then go 20 frames ahead, and then zoom in a bit, maybe like 230 maybe. Mm, 200, I know, 220. That's good enough. Then frames behind, 20 frames ahead. Do the same thing with that. Add a scale keyframe. Go back 20. Make it 220. Uh, make this one to 100. And then select, select all of them and then find them. And then just animate them a bit. So I'd like, like it to be a bit smooth. So the smooth ending. So Make it a bit like that, and then the same thing with that. Like maybe like a bit like that. This should be good. And then over here and then over like that. Okay. This should be enough. Make some both motion blurs and then and then no. Um, Cut it from here. Um, um, so let's see how this look like. So let's just see. Okay, that looks pretty good actually. Yeah, I think it's kind of lagging. Don't like that. Okay, this should be good, but I want to be. A bit faster, so let's go maybe 10 frames over here. I should maybe more. Okay, let's see how this look like. It's good. Save it and then let's see the, how it looks now. I don't. I don't. Okay, this should be good. Um, but I wanted to uh, have a bit more color, so let's duplicate this layer and then add 
saber saber vector here uh, like that so now what you want to do is pick a preset for your uh, saber effects uh, I like to use usually electric to it because it's cool I guess so now um, like, um, let's make it like the orange um, then add a layer mask and then this should be it just make it transparent and then you should have this scope uh, scope effect over here uh, let's see how it looks like now I don't It, it, it will look better if, I, if it has sound effects to it. I'm going to leave a link uh, to a website where you can uh, just download all the Fortnite uh, sound effects and then you can use them on your montage or whatever you want to use them on. So I guess this, should, this is it for my tutorial probably. Why don't we add, these are, these are all my clips and this is my own montage which I'm going to probably upload uh, after they after I uh, upload uh, this tutorial, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, I really appreciate it, and thank you for 500, 500 subs, I really appreciate that. The support uh, lately has been really amazing, I don't know, just, I don't know how to explain it, it's just, just great, I just love you guys so much. But anyways, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys later then, I guess. See ya.